Ladies, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, you are now welcome to the show that never ends. It's your boy Toby. Salute to every single one of you out there, man, for real. You can be anywhere in the world, but you're right here with me. And for that, I salute you guys, man, for real. Listen, if you're just checking out this this um, platform for the first time on YouTube, what are you waiting for, man? Subscribe to this platform. Watch the videos. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Share the videos. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Or tell an enemy to tell a friend because they are friends too. Listen. We are on 8,500 subscribers right now, I believe. We are getting closer, closer, and closer to 9,000 subscribers. Be the difference. You get what I'm saying? Subscribe to this channel. Share it. And tell your friends about it, man. Listen, what do we have today? <sighs> when I first started um, this channel... Right, I made a promise to myself that I will not be going back and forth with with um with um let's say social media influences. You know, I will not be talking on or about social media influences. You get what I'm saying? Um, especially not in a negative way. But when I woke up this morning and I saw the headlines this morning because obviously when I wake up, I do research and everything to see what's happening in the blogs, right? And then um, I come in here and give you guys my my thoughts and things. My thoughts not gospel. Things that I say are not gospel. Obviously, everyone has their opinion. You do and I do, right? So I'm up here to give my opinion, my objective perspective. So, this is about whiskey. Whiskey for the last couple months, or maybe a year or so, has been getting a lot of backlash. Whiskey, when he first came into the game in 2009 slash 2010, I believe, he was the golden child. Everybody loved him. We have never seen nothing like him. And when I'm talking about we, I'm talking about Nigeria. This is before the world got to know who Whiskey is today. Everybody loved him. He was a golden child. He was the guy who was going to take the baton from, from the older generation. And so he did. And oh my God, he has lived up to the hype. He's like the LeBron James. When LeBron James first came into the NBA and everything, he tattooed on his back, the king. And he has lived up to that hype, the pressure and everything. Whiskey has done that. But um, in recent years, something that I deem very, 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 very terrible, very negative and very detrimental to our culture. And when I say our culture, I'm talking about the Afrobeat culture, the, the African culture. And that is the, the camp, the camp mentality. And trust me, I'm the one who always says that um, music and art is a friendly competition. I understand that. I support that because I believe that it brings out the best in you. But what we are seeing right now, it's not a friendly competition. What we are seeing right now is a straight up hate. Straight up hate from people that really want to see this man fall. And not just him. This also applies to Davido. This also applies to, to um, Burner Boy. You know, when you go to Ghana, it applies to Sarkodie, Manifest, you know, all them boys. But there is a difference between a friendly competition and a hate. And what we are seeing these days, and I'm talking about strictly in Nigeria right now, is straight up hate. I mentioned um, Davido when his baby died, God bless his soul. I saw comments and I had to shake my head. And I said, 
where are we going as a culture? Where Where is our morals and our conscience? But that's beside the case. This is not about Davido right now. Salute to him, though. This is about whiskey. So like I mentioned earlier, there has been a lot of hate on this man. This man has done so much for our culture. This man took our culture to a greater height. He did. And I'm not here. I'm I'm not part of any camp. I always tell you, look, I'm not a fan of no one. I don't do the camp thing. I'm not a 3GB camp member or outsiders camp member or um, whiskey. No, 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 no. I'm here to appreciate greatness. And one thing that I know is when you have the fan mentality, one thing that I've seen is fans will beat you up and eventually they'll want to tear you down. They will bring you up and eventually want to see you fall. A wise man was a wise man once said that you cannot live your life, you cannot depend your life on fans. Because at the end of the day, fans will always switch up on you eventually. Now, what am I talking about? Whiskey's recent hate. Let's go to his recent hate. Or rather, where the hate started. He tweeted this. So this was an interview that he was... He gave an interview, I believe, maybe sometime around November, December, thereabout. And his words are... Afrobeats is the new pop, he says. In America, I sold 2 million copies of one song. Even some American artists have yet to receive a diamond record. To be honest, I no longer listen to any type of music. I don't listen to rap because it bores me. It's dead and tired now. These guys rap on the same beat and have the same flow. Those were his words. Those were what he said. When I look at these words and I understand that we live in a time where clickbait, a lot of people look at the title and make up their opinions based on titles. That's the world that we live in right now. The clickbait culture. Nothing that this man said here apply to the Nigerian rappers. But you do you know what the blogs did? We scared is talking about Nigerian rappers. Here, if my discernment, if my comprehension skills is on par, he said Afrobeats is the new pop. Afrobeats is a new pop. That's that's a fact. That is a fact. Everybody and their mamas right now are listening and dancing and grooving to Afrobeats. That is a whole fact. So he's even bigging up the culture. And then he continues by saying, in America... I sold 2 million copies. Even some American artists, American artists, he was talking about the American artists. Nowhere in this conversation did he say anything about Nigerian rappers. Nowhere. I know I'm not bugging. And, and then he said, I don't listen to rap because it buzzed me. 
is their entire now. These guys rap on the same beat and have the same flows. The last time I checked, if there are people that have the diversity when it comes to rap, are Africans. Nobody like nobody raps like MI. Nobody raps like Manifest. Nobody raps like Sarkodie. Nobody raps like Vector. They all have their own separate rap styles. That's a fact. Go and check it out. But when you flip the coin and go to the American rappers, especially the this new culture right now, this new guys, Lil Baby, 21 Savage, Young Tog, Gurna, Trippy, uh, what's his name? Trippy Red, the baby. I can go on and on and on and on and on. When you close your eyes and listen to them, you'll think that you're listening to the same person. They all have the same flow. They all have the same cadence. They all have the same th- sort of beat, the Southern beat. Even American rappers, when you go on, on, on the drill music, they all sound the same. All the Chicago rappers, if you come to the UK, they all sound... Bro. So I looked at the statement... He was not talking about the Nigerian rappers. But then the blogs flipped it. And all the Nigerian rappers got in their feelings. Or rather, most of them. The MIs of the world, every single one of them. Everyone started tweeting, I'm not going to go through it right now. Everyone started tweeting, oh, you can say this, this, that, 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 that. And they started going back and forth with with Whiskey the Buy. Wizkid, obviously, did he handle it properly? Maybe not. He said some things that he should have said. I'm talking about his Instagram story. He called them names, called them broke, and all that. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, that was not the best way to handle it. But then at the same time, when we touched on this on my podcast, I said, this is the time for these rappers to take the mantle and run. The light is on you right now. Take advantage of it. But a lot of you decided to come on social media and squabble about it. So this morning, shout out to the Mix Ninja. It's a blog. And obviously, they um, put up a post from this gentleman. I think he's a Twitter guy. You got what I'm saying? He has a lot of followers on Twitter, whatever. Yeah, shout out to him, whatever he's doing. So he said, Whiskey's star power has seriously dropped after he mocked rappers. My friend, if we're going to be honest, let's be honest. If we're going to have an objective conversation, we'll have an objective conversation. You know very well that he wasn't talking to Nigerian rappers. You lot that push this agenda know very well that he wasn't talking about Nigerian rappers. But if but but it fits your narrative because you are a part of a camp here and there. You lot are doing everything to tear this man down. This man has done so much for our culture. He deserves the respect. He does not deserve disrespect. So he said, MLLE, that's more life, less ego, is no doubt a mid project. But this also led to the album being a big flop. Mate, what are you on about? What are you people on about? And this part, reason why, I see a lot of DMs on my thing, yeah? If you don't know, follow me on Instagram, S-T-I-L-L-T-O-B-Z on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I get a lot of DMs and people want to bring up numbers to me. People want to bring up numbers. Oh, this did, you know, a couple numbers on, on YouTube and this, this, this. I don't care about numbers. But if we're going to talk about numbers, yeah, more love, less ego 
debuted at number 59 on the Billboard 200. It did really well. I believe I believe um the first week sale was about 13,000 um sales. That album did well on different charts on Spotify, on on um Apple um podcasts and everything. I understand. I understand that Whiskey set the bar for himself with um his last album. What's his last album again? Really forgotten. Wait, hold on. The last album, the last Whiskey's album. Made in Lagos. I understand that Made in Lagos. I would even say Made in Lagos. I would say Essence. I understand that Essence set such a high bar for Whiskey. We are not going to say that this album is a flop, yeah, if there was no song, if there was no Essence. Because Essence was such a huge hit, the bar is right here. And any other thing that doesn't get up there, people like this gentleman and other people call it a flop. But if we're going to be honest, that's one of the best albums that came out of Nigeria. That came out of Africa this year. I'm talking about more life, um, um, more love, less ego. When Burner Boy, and this is not about Burner Boy, but I'm just gonna use this as an example. When Burner Boy did African Giant, amazing project. He came behind it with um, Twice as Tall. That album didn't do as well as um, African Giant. You man did not call that a flop. You didn't call that a flop. People that understand music understand that was a very, very, very good album too. But no one called it a flop. But this whole campaign about Whiskey flopping or his album is made, is bullshit. And then this gentleman continued, he needs to retract his words and beg for forgiveness and improve his behavior. Humility goes a long way, mate. I don't want to use no cuss words on you because, because I, I respect you as a man too. But stop it. Stop it. Your last sentence, he needs to retract his words and beg for forgiveness, tells me that you are not being objective. You are not being objective. Beg for forgiveness for what? He said what he said. He said what he said. And I don't see anything wrong with what he said in that interview. In the story, yeah. He shouldn't have called them names and everything in his Instagram story afterwards. But in that interview, he did not say anything wrong. But you lot and people like yourself and some of these blogs are running with narratives just to make this man look bad. And this man has done nothing but put the country on his back when there was nobody else doing it. There was nobody else doing it. Shout out to Davido, shout out to Bonaboy. They came later on. This guy came out in 2009. And he lived up to the, to, to the hype. He put the country on his back. You go, I'm saying, until these other people now came and obviously supported and did their, everybody played a role in where the, the, the culture is right now. No doubt. You lot need to stop this, this, this um camp mentality and appreciate all these legends because the same thing you guys are doing to him the same thing you're doing to Bernard is the same thing that you're doing to Davido you go know I'm saying he does not need to retract his words he said what he said 
And what do you mean by beg for forgiveness? From who? And improve his behavior. Improve what behavior? And I'm disappointed in some of the blogs out here that are pushing this narrative. It's not helping our culture at all. It is not helping our culture at all. And I would like to play... You know what? I'm just going to leave it. But somebody once said that you're either loved or you might live long enough to become the villain. If Whiskey, God forbid, if Whiskey died five years ago or maybe three years ago, everybody will be calling him, oh, he's a legend, he's a legend, he's a legend. What what changed? What changed right now? It's just the jealousy. It's just the hate in our hearts. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's respect these legends, man. For real. I just thought I should just come in, say, say my piece, and then go back to work. As you can see, thank God, walking from home. But salute to every single one of you. Follow me on Instagram, S-T-I-L-L-T-O-B-Z. And until next time, salute.